So today we're gonna be checking out Blue Eddy's brand new Solar X 4K. And what this does is this allows you to hook up a residential solar array to uh, basically to a Blue Eddy power station through this device. So you can hook up to 4,000 watts of solar to this and then it will take that and charge the power station, charge the power station with a stack of expansion batteries or you could even just use it to charge the expansion batteries by themselves. So what this device does is it allows you to hook up a large solar array that has a, that has a high voltage. Uh, previously a power station, the max you could charge one at maybe like 800 watts up to maybe 2400 watts, but to achieve those maximum wattage, it is really hard to do because they have limits on the current and the voltage that the power station can use. Now this device can take up to 500 volts of, of open circuit voltage from the solar panels. It can take a high voltage array. It'll take it in there and it'll convert it to the right voltage and amperage to charge the power station. So now I'll just go through the setup of this device, how to get it all wired up, and then we will get it hooked up to the Apex 300 and we'll do some testing. So the first thing you need to do is you need to mount to the wall. It does come with mounting screws. And then you gotta take off the cover so we can access the inside. So now that we got the cover off, there's only like six wire connections on the inside. It's fairly simple. It does have this cord here that comes with it that you have to wire up. And this is the cord that connects to the Blue Eddy power station. So right here is the factory cable and it has a positive and negative uh, battery cables that just connect to these terminals up here. And then there is this little ethernet port right here, just a regular ethernet RJ45. It goes into CAN one port. And then your only other connections is you do have a ground wire. I've got the system grounded. And then you have one set of wires from your solar array. So the wiring for the solar panels, I've got that ran around here to a disconnect so I can turn the, the solar panels on and off. So you do wanna have some type of PV disconnect. That way you can turn off the solar and have no voltage present so that you can work on this safely. And if you wanna buy this style of PV disconnect, um, you can get that one off of Amazon, but there's also the IMO uh, PV disconnect switch, which is very common as well. I'll put links to those down in the description. So the factory cable that we have wired up, this is designed to hook directly to the Apex 300 or the B300K expansion battery or the B300 expansion battery. Now there's a separate cable that's different that's made specifically to hook to the the AC 500 power station. And then there's a third cable, instead of having one of these big Blue Eddy connectors on the end, it actually has three of these XT60 connectors on it, which is basically, it's the same I know as the Apex 300 where you plug in the, the solar normally. And you'll get 1200 watts out of, uh, not quite 1200 watts, but about 1200 watts out of each one of those. And then you could, you could use that to essentially charge three power stations at the same time. Or if you have the Apex 300, it has two ports and you could use two of the ports uh, to charge one Apex 300, use the third one to charge a different power station. So you got a little bit of flexibility depending on what type of cable you buy to go with it. So we'll go ahead, we'll put the cover back on. There is a, a light that shines through the center of this and uh, green means it's good. I think green flashing means it's charging. And then you've got a yellow and red light for warning and error. So now that we got the Solar X 4K wired up, what first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna leave this connector disconnected. I'm not gonna plug it in. And we are just gonna power it up off of the solar panels. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the disconnect switch on. And then as long as it's a nice sunny day, this is gonna power up and it'll click, you'll see a green light, and then it'll go, there's the green light, and then it'll go to a red light because we're not plugged into a power station, so it's an error. Now that we got it powered up, we can use the Blue Eddy app, and we can connect to it through Bluetooth, and then you can bind that device to your account. Now the reason I'm doing that is because um, once it's connected to a power station, I can't talk directly to it anymore. You actually control this through the power station. So to, 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 to connect to it and bind it, 
Um, the only way that I've found to do it is just to have it only on solar. Another thing you want to do is you want to make sure everything is up to date. You want to make sure the firmware is updated on the Solar X4K. You want to make sure your power station, all your expansion batteries, everything is up to date to the latest software version. And after that, we should be ready to use it. So now to charge up the power station with the Solar X4K, this plugs in to the expansion battery port. So we'll just open this up and we will plug it in, lock it in place, and then this should start charging. So the solar array I've got hooked up is about 3,600 watts, and right now we are bringing in just over 3,000 watts, charging the power station back up. Now I can unlock this, everything's hot swappable, and I can unplug this. And you could just use it to charge the expansion battery. So I could just plug it directly into the expansion battery itself, lock it in, give it a few seconds, it should start charging just the battery. So our green light up here is blinking, meaning it's charging. And when you look at the front of the expansion batteries, you can see the, the LEDs on there, and you can tell that it's charging that way as well. The good thing about everything's hot swappable, right? So you could have an expansion battery that you could charge, and then you could take it over to the unit, you could swap it out and then start charging the other battery if you had several of these expansion batteries. The other way this works is that you can have a stack of batteries, right? So you could plug in the power station to the expansion battery. And you could have several expansion batteries on this power station. And at the last expansion battery, you can plug in the Solar K4X. And then it will charge that stack of batteries and the power station. So now that everything's all plugged together with the power station, now you can at least see how many watts it is. And you've got, we're getting up close to 3,000 watts going in, charging the unit. And you can tell that the expansion battery is also charging. So I need to jump in here real quick. I need to do a little bit of a correction. I had some of my specs wrong on the Solar X4K. So the first one has to do with the maximum amount of solar that you can hook to this. I think I said 4,000 watts of solar panels. You can actually hook up 4,200 watts of solar panels. And the next thing I was saying wrong is with this charging cable, I was saying it had a maximum of 3,500 watts of charging. It's actually, as long as you're using this cable, which plugs into the Apex 300 or the expansion battery, you will get up to 4,000 watts of charging. But if you use the cable that comes with these three XT60 connectors, this cable is a maximum of 3,500 watts. And that makes it where each one of these connectors has an average of around 1,166 watts each. So I was getting a little bit of confused there. Uh, 3,500 watts of charging has to do with the XT60 connector cable. But as long as you're using the one that plugs directly in the power station, you're gonna get a four, full 4,000 watts of charging. So now that we got everything hooked up, if you get in the Blue Eddy app, when you're looking at the Apex 300, there's a spot down here that says components, and it'll, you'll see there's the number one right next to it in green. And if we go forward, it says there's the Solar X4K. And then I can go ahead and hit forward again. This tells you that everything is operating normally. If you hit the three dots at the upper right hand corner, you can go to settings or you can go to upgrade. Of course, we got our firmware up to date so you can update the firmware uh, through the Apex 300. But the, the big thing is just gonna be the settings. Pretty simple. So you have a on off switch for solar, which means the charging. And then you also have the charging capacity. I've got it maxed out right now at 55 amps. It may actually go higher than that when you go into pro mode, but you have to have a password. I'm not actually sure what it is, but you can adjust the charging rate. So we can turn it down to say 20 amps. And now we're charging at 1,085 watts. So you can see that it changed, it dropped down. We'll go ahead and max it back out at 55. And now you can see we're at 3,025 watts. That's probably what the actual, it could probably go higher than that, I assume. It's just what the, our solar panels are making right now. 
So the solar array I've got hooked to this is actually 3,780 watts. And it is a, it, the panels are more higher voltage, lower amperage. So the open circuit voltage on this array, it runs like around 425 to 450, somewhere in there. And this has a maximum of 500 volts. So we're hitting it with some pretty decent voltage. It's working fine. Uh, I th would hope that most solar arrays wouldn't be that high. That's my highest voltage solar array that I have. And yeah, it's working just fine. So the Solar K4X is really meant for a more permanent solution, not as a portable power station to lug it around everywhere. You're gonna mount this permanently on a wall. It's gonna hook to a solar array that's either ground mounted or maybe on a roof. Uh, that's a permanent you know, solar array installation. It's not gonna be portable panels. But in turn, it will give you quite a bit more solar capability for your power station. If you have multiple power stations, you can get the, the, the cable that has the 3XT60 connectors, and each one of those connectors will do around 1160 watts a piece that you can plug in and, and charge your power stations. Or your other choice is you can get one of these solar K4Xs per power station, and then you could charge up to the 3,500 watts per power station. And you'd have to have, of course, a solar array for each one of those as well. But this is a brand new product from Blue Eddy. Um, I don't know if there's too much out there uh, to be able to really pack the amount of solar charging into a power station like this does. So if you guys are interested in Blue Eddy's Solar K4X or their Apex 300 system, I will leave links to all this down in the description below. And I think that's it for this video, guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.